Here's a check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. Services for Robert Bullet Sherwood will be held with calling hours from 2 till 9 p.m. at the Lakeville Fire Station on Friday, June 7th. The funeral will be at St. Mary's Church at 11 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, June 8th, and then on to the Catholic Cemetery in Salisbury for burial. So meetings coming up today in Salisbury, Connecticut, Board of Selectmen at 5 p.m., and the Inland Wetlands Conservation Commission at 6.30 at Town Hall. In Cornwall... The Cornwall Agricultural Advisory Committee has a meeting tonight at 7.30. The CAC meeting at Ankrum will be held at the Town Hall. That is tonight at 7 p.m. Dover has their planning board regular meeting coming up at Town Hall tonight. That begins at 7 p.m. And the North Canaan Board of Selectmen meeting at Town Hall tonight at 7 p.m. as well. Tomorrow... Denise George, president of the Sharon Hospital, presents the State of the Hospital Community Update, 9 to 10.30 at the Sharon Town Hall. Light refreshments will be provided. The Kent Board of Selectmen have their regular meeting Tuesday, 4.30, and the Architectural Review Board regular meeting in Kent takes place Tuesday at 5.30. The Falls Village Board of Education has their meeting at the Lee H. Kellogg School Tuesday, 6 o'clock until 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock in Cornwall, Connecticut, the Inland Wetlands Agency has their meeting at the town offices and the Board of Selectmen at 7.30 on Tuesday. Falls Village Canaan Historical Society, first Tuesday at 7 Summer Talk, returns this Tuesday South Canaan Meeting House, Route 63 in Falls Village. Speakers will be Stephen Casey and other members of the Railroad Museum of New England in Thomaston. It is open to the public. Donations are appreciated. Coming up on Tuesday, National Cancer Survivors Day, 5 till 7 p.m. at the Town Grove, 42 Ethan Allen Street in Lakeville. Celebrate life. Music provided by Northwest Passage. Guest speaker, Sandy Dennis. Drinks and hors d'oeuvres and a raffle as well. Suggested donation at the door includes four raffle tickets. That is $10 of a donation. Also in Kent on Tuesday, Kent Board of Education has their regular meeting at 5 p.m. Sharon Skinner School Board of Education has a policy committee meeting Wednesday. It's Family Fun Night Tuesday night. It will happen at Sharon Center School Cafeteria, a family fun night put on by the Sharon Center School PTO, a maker fair, a -a take-a-party. It runs from 6.30 till 7.30. Take apart household appliances, computer phones, and more to see what makes them tick. On June 6th, the Town of Ankrum has a planning board meeting coming up at Ankrum Town Hall at 7 p.m. Application for a special use permit for an auction house on a parcel of land owned by Donald Duxa at 1030 County Route 27A. Senior citizens across the towns of Region 1 invited to a social on Friday, June 7th at noon at the Grove in Lakeville. The free luncheon is hosted by Recreation Departments of Cornwall, Kent, Salisbury, and Sharon. Seating is limited. Reservations are required. Contact Lisa at 860-435-5186 and Leslie at 860-927-1003. The Sandfield Arts Center on Hammertown Road presents their free Friday movie night presenting The Little Mermaid on June 7th at 5.30. Free popcorn will be provided. More details, sandisfieldartscenter.org. Copake Grange on Empire Road in Columbia County presenting an open mic night on Friday, June 7th, 7 till 9 p.m. You're encouraged to participate in the evening's festivities or become an audience member. More information, 518 329 Three one five two. The Falls Village Congregational Church will hold its annual tag sale Saturday, eight until two, on the church grounds on BB Hill Road, across from the Hunt Library. A media free library holding its annual book and bake sale on June eighth from ten until two. Kent Art Association will participate in the state's Open House Day on Saturday with a free lecture with art historian Matt Solta speaking on recent finds and about one of the world's most iconic paintings, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. The gallery will be open during its regular hours from 1 to 5 p.m. 
for open house day. J.H. Ketchum Auxiliary has a chicken bake, a chicken dinner with salad, bread, chicken, potato, and baked beans, and dessert, iced tea, lemonade, and water. Adults thirteen dollars, children six to ten, seven, five years and old, free when accompanied by an adult. Takeouts available at the Ketchum Host Company Pavilion in Dover, New York, June eighth, three thirty till six p.m. Smithfield Church will host their annual ham and strawberry supper on Saturday, June 8th. Servings at 5 and 6.30. Takeouts will be available to order. Contact Frida at 845-373-8454 for reservations. $15 adults, $7.50 for children. Order your tickets and reserve your seats early, as the popular spring dinner usually sells out. Menu features homemade shortcake and fresh strawberries with whipped cream, as well as ham, scalloped potatoes, coleslaw, and fresh peas. The second annual fundraiser in memory of William and Claire Heenan will take place on Saturday, 5 till 7 p.m. at the First Congregational Church, Main Street in Great Barrington. More information, 413-329-7224. You can help celebrate 60 years of the Sharon Playhouse at their event going on on Saturday, June 8th. It'll be a season preview and patio cabaret beginning at 630 Hear cast members from the upcoming season's show. The fun will continue with a patio cabaret open to all. Bring your sheet music and you can join the fun and sing. Now admission, a $20 donation, but a $50 donation also gets you all that we just mentioned, plus a pre-show cocktail party with open bar and hors d'oeuvres in the Bach Gallery at 5.30. By the way, there's also a costume contest, which is optional. Come as your favorite musical theater character and enter the contest to win prizes. The Annex in Millerton, New York, presents the Songwriters Showcase, Saturday, 7.30 till 9.30. Jeff Ress, Hilary Barrow, George Potts, and Steve Dedman. It's hosted by Lance Middlebrook. Sharon Fire Department Ambulance Squad on Sunday, June 9th, has their pancake breakfast at the firehouse from 7 until 10.30. Houston Child Care Center will hold its annual Big Rig Bake Sale and Vendor Fair on Sunday from 10 until 1 at the Center on Salmon Kill Road. Admission, $5 per child and benefits the Housatonic Child Care Center. The Stockbridge Grange on Church Street will serve a stuffed breast and chicken dinner on June 9th at the Hall from 1 o'clock on. Tickets are for adults and younger you can dine for half price. Kids six and under eat for free. Takeouts are available. More information at 413-298-3185. The Columbia Land Conservancy will hold meetings on Sunday at the Copake Grange on Empire Road to discuss options in preserving Columbia County's vibrant rural character. The meeting is set to begin at 2 o'clock. For more information, copakegrange.org. On Sunday, author Tom Shackman will speak about the phony war at the Hotchkiss Library in Sharon. It will mark the beginning of the 80th anniversary of what is known in English as the phony war, in French as Le Jour de Guerre, and in German as Der Sitzkrieg. The talk is part of the library's Sundays for at 4 series. Registration is requested, 860-364-5041. The Hotchkiss Library is located on the green in Sharon, Connecticut, hotchkisslibrary.org. Common Ground, a celebration of jazz and Jewish music featuring Wanda Houston and Paul Green, presented on Sunday at the Haverth of Southern Berkshire in Great Barrington on Route 23. Tickets are available. All proceeds go towards the restoration of the Clinton AME Zion Church in downtown Great Barrington. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlake and interlakeandin.com and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Dow Jones Industrial Average starts off the week at 24,815.04. The NASDAQ at 7453.15 and the S&P 500 at 2752.06. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That will come your way in just a few moments.